What's up? Oh, sorry, that's not mine. All right, so if you're older than 25, you probably know a bit about the history of Flash. It used to be called Future Splash, and later it was known as Macromedia Flash. And back in the days, web designers really used to go crazy with their websites. Uh, they would use music, a lot of sound effects, a lot of crazy animations. If you would hover over a button, things would appear and uh, it was just nuts and very annoying actually. And I'm, uh, it's, it, it's hard to imagine that people would still do this in 2018. However, in 2005, Adobe bought Flash and they bought Dreamweaver. And since HTML5 appeared, a lot of things have changed and Flash is kind of old news. However, we can still use the same techniques to create some cool stuff. But back when Adobe just bought Flash, it was quite hard to uh, transfer artwork from, let's say, Photoshop or Illustrator into a Flash animation. You would have to rebuild a lot of stuff and it would take a lot of time just to create a simple Flash banner. But now there's Adobe Animate, um, which still looks like the interface of Adobe Flash. But nowadays it's much easier to convert a file from Illustrator to Adobe Animate. And that's what I'm gonna show in this video. So I will start by creating a cool banner in Adobe Illustrator. And I'll show you some techniques of how you can convert this to Adobe Animate so you can turn this into a HTML5 banner. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's get started. I'm in Adobe Illustrator right now, and I'm just gonna create a new uh, new file. Let's make a banner by 160 by 600 pixels. Uh, make sure it's on web, meaning it's RGB. And one artboard is fine. And I'm just gonna create a very simple banner right now, so you probably want a little button at the bottom with uh, probably a text saying click here. Uh, let's increase that. Choose a cool font. White color, center this. Uh, we also want to center this to our artboard. Something like that. Scale this. Okay, looks fine, I guess. Yeah, let's also add an image. So the image I'm importing, as you can see, is very huge. We have to do something about it, but I will show you that later. Right now, just uh, create a cool composition. I'm not gonna be too picky, let's just go for this. And uh, of course we need to create a mask, like so. Maybe it's nice if we pick a green color from here. Okay, and maybe we want to add some text. I don't want to know more about film that. Of course you do. Okay, this is not a design course. I'm just uh, showing you an example. Let's also make a little border here. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so there's our banner and if we would save this and if we would import this in Adobe Animate, you would end up with a huge image in there. And most of the HTML5 banners can only be around 130 kilobytes. So we have to do something about it. So click this artboard icon, hold Alt, hold Shift and drag it to the right. And now delete all this stuff so we're left with just the image and now crop this artboard like so and now we're gonna export this artboard so go to file export export as 
So select the artboard and for range select artboard number two and just export it. All right, that's fine. There we go. And then we can just delete this and the artboard as well. Okay, so now we can import our new smaller image. So I'm just gonna drag it to the same position, just move it to the back and just delete the old high res image. Now, another thing we have to do is our text. We want to expand this, so go to object, expand, boom. And that way we don't have to worry about fonts not working or stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for the banner. Just save this file and then we can head over to Adobe Animate. All right, so now we're in Adobe Animate and I'm just gonna create a new canvas. Let's change the size over here. Has to be the same as the file we made in Illustrator. So here comes the fun part. Now we can just import the Illustrator file into Adobe Animate. So just select the banner we made and just drag it in here. So here's all the stuff, all the compound path and, and the, the, the image. So just import it and boom, there it is. Now, once you go to the library, you can see the Illustrator file and you can even see the layers and the image we created. And you can just work from here. So let's say you want to turn this into a button. So you can just double click on this uh, green rectangle and to select it. And now you can, for example, just right click it, turn it into a symbol, um, turn it into a button, press OK. Right click it again and go to bloop, edit symbol. And here we can, for example, change the Hoover. Um, so we can just change its color. And that's it. You can play around with it from here. Of course, you have to do the animation in here. Um, but this is a quick way to convert your file from Illustrator to Adobe Animate. And this works really well. And I think this saves up a lot of time, especially if you're used to working in Adobe Illustrator. You don't have to get used to the interface of Adobe Animate. So uh, yeah, why not just convert it? So then of course you can just test it and publish it. And as you can see now we have a cool button on here. Um, as you can see, it's not clickable. Like I said before, I won't really cover how to add click text to this file. I will make a separate video about that if you guys like that. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.